Charlie Thomas Munger is an American billionaire, investor, businessman, and former real estate attorney. He is Warren Buffett's right-hand man, and he is the vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway. Charlie was born in the 1940s, and he grew up during the heights of the Great Depression. His family was among those who struggled to survive during those trying times. So he experienced how hard it was, and he knew how valuable money can be. Now, Charlie is worth over $2 billion. And if you ask about his secret and how he made it big, his answer might actually surprise you. In this video, we will talk about Charlie's seven secrets that helped him be the successful person that he is now. These secrets are very simple, which is why most people would not put so much thought and value into them. But this simple set of ideas is what made Charlie. So stay tuned because we will discuss each of these seven secrets that Charlie lived by and how you can also apply them in your life if you want to be rich and successful as well. So make sure to watch this video to the end. This is Financial Intellect, where we promote that to be finance savvy, we are your buddy. Now let's get right into the video. Number 1. Know what the world wants and deliver it. Even at an early age, Charlie already knew that to get what you want, you have to deserve what you want. This is a very simple idea and rule to live by, and it worked for Charlie. Know what the world wants, what's in demand in the market, and what sells best. If you can provide and deliver this, then you can definitely win in life. Not just win money and honors, but you will also win the respect and trust of the people you deal with. And this is the most satisfying thing in life because you know you deserved it. Who wouldn't want to win in life, right? Number 2. Seize every opportunity According to Charlie, if there is something that his grandfather taught him, it is to seize every opportunity that comes along your way. His grandfather came to Iowa with no money. He persisted, worked, and fought hard until he was able to buy cheap land. He worked on that land aggressively and intelligently, and eventually, he became the richest man in town. You see, when Charlie's grandfather came to Iowa, the land didn't even cost more than a dollar per acre. But he stayed there and worked hard on that land. Now it is some of the best lands in the world. This attitude was what favored him in life. The same can also be applied to you. You have to seize every opportunity that will come along, no matter how few there are. And be prepared when these opportunities come, seize them as hard as you can. Eventually, the opportunity will also bear fruit. Number 3. Choose the High Road Charlie recalled that his father once had two clients. One client was a good man, while the other was a big blowhard. His father, though, was always working for that blowhard client, and when Charlie asked why, his father only answered that the blowhard client is the one who is always in trouble. On the other hand, the other client was a good and honest man who treats everybody right. And because he seldom gets into trouble, he will not need a lawyer all the time. What Charlie's father was trying to teach him is that goodness and honesty pay off. If you will treat everybody right and you are honest with your dealings, it will eventually pay off. Choose this road. Take the high road and you'll notice that it's never crowded. Number 4. Be rational and patient. According to Charlie, the people he knew who eventually did well in life are those nerds who were patient and rational. They were the ones who were sensible and just tried to live within their means. But when an opportunity came along their way, they grabbed it and worked hard on it. This principle can also work the same for the new nerds of the world. Just be sensible and master the art of patience and you will also do well in life. Patience and being rational pay off. Before we move on to the next secret, if you're new to the channel, kindly give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so that you will know when we've posted new videos. We'd love to give you more content such as this. Now let's continue to the next one. Number 5. Keep things simple The investment world is full of people with high IQs. Intelligent people who are trying to be normal and skillful as much as possible. Charlie recalled an experience he had with a local investment counseling shop years ago. When they were trying to entice investors, the reason they would give is that they have all these brilliant young people from Harvard and Wharton and so on and so forth that are working for them. 
And each of these young people's ideas is what will make the company outperform other investment shops. This is wrong, according to Charlie. While the idea may seem plausible to them, it is, however, an idea born out of ill education. In investing, there is no easy way. You can't ground your investment on something almost impossible to achieve. You can't turn lead into gold no matter how hard you try and no matter how brilliant you are. Do you know why the local investment shop failed despite its abundance of intelligent people in the company? The answer is simple. Do not complicate this. Keep it simple. Those crazy and big ideas people have, most of the time won't work. This is what made Berkshire Hathaway so successful. They tried to do less. They never had the illusion to be as complicated and ambitious as the others. They tried to be focused on only a few things, knowing that they could never really get all the useful information about everything. They tried to do less to keep it simple. Number 6. Beware of Fake Gurus Charlie emphasizes that you have to be selective with who you listen to. For example, there might be some people who will try to approach you regarding investment with a 200% guaranteed return. This might sound too good to be true, because the reality is, it is indeed too good to be true. Nobody making a 200% return will go on the internet and ask you to believe them. Nobody making that high return would beg you to listen to them. These people, these fake gurus, will mislead you on purpose just so they can entice you to invest. We have fake gurus everywhere, even on YouTube. This might sound harsh and pessimistic, but this is the reality. So beware of these types of people as their only goal is to get money from you. They can never help you become rich and successful. Number 7. Follow these four steps before investing. Before investing, make sure to follow these four steps. 1. Deal only with things that you are capable of understanding. Do not gamble on things you do not understand. Most failure comes when you don't have any idea of what you are doing at all. Do not jump blindly without the right knowledge and understanding. Be wise. 2. Look for a business with a competitive advantage. There are several businesses out there, but make sure to look for a business with some intrinsic characteristics as this will give them an advantage in the market. 3. Choose to invest in companies that have good management. Good management and board is a company's asset. It should also have a lot of integrity, talent, and potential. After all, who wants to invest in a shady company, right? 4. Lastly, you should invest in companies that do not come with a high price tag. No company is worth an infinite price. You should have a margin of safety in case something goes wrong in the market. Those are 7 secrets to getting rich from Charlie Munger. These ideas are really simple and actually easy to follow. So if you will just ignore these as well, then it is up to you now. So what are your thoughts on Charlie's 7 secrets? Do you think they are indeed effective in helping you become rich and successful as well? Or have you already applied some of this in your life? Let us know in the comment section below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And with that, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you've watched, stay tuned for more videos. Bye, financial buddies!